50Y Share Link View lets users export content from our app to share elsewhere, such as saving a photo to their image library, or maybe sharing a URL with a friend on messages. Now, our job is to provide the content we want to share, but iOS takes care of showing all the apps that can handle that kind of data and actually transferring it across. For example, we could share a URL like this. We'd say there's a share link, and the item we want to share is a URL with a string of HTTPS colon slash slash www.hackingwithswift.com. Now I've hand typed that URL. I know it's correct. I can safely force and wrap it. And that will show on the screen eventually when our preview catches up, the word share, the little icon by default. There we go, boom. I'll run it back in the, the simulator so you can see it bigger here. Uh, and I can press share and up will hopefully slide up the built-in system share sheet uh, with the various apps built in that can support this. Now, obviously simulator hasn't got many apps that work here, so you won't see much. Please do try on a real device to see the various options available to you. Uh, and some will actually work. For example, reminders will work usually. Let's find out. Boom, there's my URL in there correctly. Uh, whereas messages tends to fail. Yeah, messages doesn't do anything. Um, on your actual phone, it'll work much, much better. Anyway, if you want more control over the data, you have several options. You can, if you want to, attach a subject and message to the URL you're sharing. So I might say here that my subject is a text of learn Swift here. And the message is going to be a text saying, uh, check out the 100 days of Swift UI. Now, how that information is used, subject and message is used, depends on the app itself. Um, obviously, the URL is the important thing that will always be attached. But whether they use subject or message or both or neither potentially depends on the app you're working with. For example, if I share this thing here and choose reminders, we're going to see check out 100 days Swift UI is being used. That's actually our message, not our subject. That is what Calendar chooses. A second option is to customize the uh, label on the screen. If I go back to a simple URL again, the default layout, as you can see, is a sort of share icon with the word share dot, dot, dot. Um, you can provide a custom label. You could just do an open brace here, then say the label is now spread the word about Swift and system image will be just a Swift logo like that. And now you get a custom uh, button like that saying a little logo and a title like that. And third, you can attach a preview to your sharing thing, which is important when you're sharing complex data. Because it's possible to share entirely custom data here, some unique file type you've created. As long as the recipient has the same app installed, you can both read and write it over messages, for example. But the preview is helpful so they have some idea of what's inside. So messages can show here's roughly what's inside this item. Now, annoyingly, this is also needed for data that is basically its own preview. For example, an image. If you're sharing an image, the preview is the image itself. And so, to avoid making your code repetitive, I would suggest assigning an image to a local uh, constant, then using that. Now, in my asset catalog already, I have this example image here of uh, Singapore Airport. So I'd say, let example be the image of dot example with an air like that. And now my share link becomes make a share link with the item being our example image like that. And that alone is not enough. They can share images, but to share and it's not a URL knowingly, you've got to provide a preview. So we're going to say the preview for this thing is a share preview. And the title for this is going to be Singapore Airport image will be my example image and no icon like that. And that will now show that thing is now shareable with the preview when we actually share it as being title and the example image. Of course, you can then say uh, custom label to label uh, click to share. And I'll do a system image of airplane, for example. Boom. Again, uh, what's actually shown depends on the app. Uh, if I choose reminders, uh, we'll see. <laughs> it's saying, great, I need to upgrade reminders here. In theory, it can do it, but right now the simulator is having uh, no, none of that, which is great. Can Freeform do it? It can. Very nice. There we go. 
So you can see it is going out there correctly, and that's the main thing. I would say, no matter how you do it, letting users share data from your app is really important, because otherwise, the data inside your app can feel completely isolated from the rest of their life.